Hey guys, that's our 9 here. So today I'm going to be showing you another tutorial on how to hack Splatoon with JGeckoU. Now, just a quick disclaimer, I don't support hacking online. I only support it with private battles and stuff such. Okay, so here we go. So first of all, you need to homebrew your Wii U. I'll link a guide to that in the description. And uh, don't follow video guides, they're bad. But this one is fine. Okay, so. So, once you get that, you need to get... TCP Gecko, um, there will be a link in the description for that, and then you need to open TCP Gecko with your exploit, so you should be at the homebrew launcher, and I have to find where it is, okay, yep, see, look, it should look like something like this, I'm not sure, and, uh, let's click load, alright, now you press A, just A, don't press X, because we're not going to be using SD cheats, we're going to be using actual JGeckoU. Okay, so, once you do that, I'm gonna switch over to my PC real quick, so hold on a sec. Alright, so, now we need to download JGeckoU real quick, and, uh, we'll basically have it, so, we're gonna make a new folder called Co JGeckoU, you can put it anywhere, and put your JGeckoU installation in there, so then you need to open your JGeckoU installation, you also need Java, so let me... You need to make a new folder called Codes, and uh, put the AGME01 folder in there. I'm not sure if it's different for you, but like I'm in the US, so it's going to be AGME01. So we're going to drag it into Codes, and then once we're in JGeckoU, we're going to... So you see this. Press Auto Detect and press Connect. It'll take a little while, so just wait a bit. Trying to look for your Wii U and stuff. Sometimes it doesn't work, and you'll need to close the application and restart it. Oh, global settings. That's nice. So, I'm just going to pause real quick. Huh? Oh, I didn't pause. So, sometimes you'll need to find your actual router thing like you have to use your specific Wii U console IP so I'm gonna stop the recording right here while I find it so I'll be right back all right so after that we're going to open Splatoon I had to re-record this part so you'll just see the default loading screen if it freezes at this part it makes a weird noise or if it just doesn't stay or if it just stays for a really long time and it just doesn't do anything um, then you've got yourself a crash on your hands. You better, you have to restart your Wii U, and, uh, then just repeat the process. If it doesn't, then it's probably a problem with your Gecko U installation, or, you know, not that. Okay, anyway, now we're, that we're in Splatoon, we're going to actually, I'll switch to the other side. Um, my PC, so here we go. Alright, so now that we're on PC, we're gonna go back to JGeckoU, as usual, and connect to our Wii U. And, uh, if it freezes here, then that's bad, don't do that. And, uh, now we need to go to one of our movement codes, so I'm gonna do Swimming Ink Everywhere, and, uh, I think it's Skydiving, I forgot what it was. I'm gonna do Infinite Ink, and, uh, yeah, and just some usual stuff. Flat bomb insta cover. No, burst bomb insta cover. I want to do that. And then shooter rapid fire. Yep. And um, special bomb is charged. Yeah, and I'm going to. Yeah, if you're using this online, just don't ruin the game for others. I don't recommend it. But I think. There's an anti band code, but I'm actually not sure. I'll. Well, like, usually it's kind of safe to do it, but like. I'm not gonna go online with this one, so let's. And then after that, click send codes. Sometimes it might freeze at this part, but. You see, look, the codes have been sent successfully. And that's weird. And, uh. Now I'm gonna switch back to my Wii U, so let's see that. Alright, so we're back at the Wii U, and, um. Let's press ZL and ZR, and we're gonna go through the normal news and stuff, you know. So, it's the AMA, like usual. 
And uh, one last thing, I really don't recommend you go online with this unless you're in a private battle or something. So now you see that we're... And oh, I picked the wrong code. So now we're all the way up here. Did I... Yeah, that can be a problem. Picking the wrong codes is kind of bad. So you can also hack your rank and stuff, but like, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to really show you guys how to do that. Because I don't want to. Also, sometimes there's a button called disable code. Sometimes it freezes your game, though. Let's try it this time. Okay, codes got disabled and, uh, oh. There we go. Let me try, let me try something real quick. Okay, so we're gonna try moon jump. Oh! And this is actually the code I wanted. So, moon jump and swinging in everywhere is basically a fly code. Anyway, so now you can see that we are flying! And, uh, we can do stuff. I'm exploring. Woo! So, basically, if you want to restart the game, you can either disable codes, and you might have to go to the equip menu and back, or I recommend just leaving the game and rejoining. Wait, why did I just say it like that? Leaving the game and reopening? Yeah, that's what I meant. And, uh, the codes will pretty much be all gone. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!